When you look at this aerial drone video of a fire in Brighton, well, then you can really see the extent of the damage to four businesses last Friday. Today, Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to the owners of the tortilla shop destroyed in that fire. They got to go inside the property for the first time today. The fire was worse than expected. They'd hoped to find some equipment they might be able to salvage inside the store that would help them get back on their feet. But what they found was charcoal and ash. The owners shared these pictures from inside Tortilleria of Al Valle, and the fire department shared this drone video. Both show the extent of the destruction. To see everything that you work 14 to 16 hours a day for just black charcoal, um, it, it, it's beyond description. I was thinking that it was not too bad, but it's really, really, really bad. Alan Gray and his brother-in-law, Sergio Mosquera, say the family is looking for tortilla-making equipment so they can try to resume operations, even if it's in a food truck. They say they have customers who count on them. I asked about the personal loss and loss of income for the family. That part's devastating, and we, we try not to think about that part too much because we don't really know how that's going to affect us, but we know that if we do our best and with God on our side, we keep pushing forward. Today, a glimmer of hope. In their storage building adjacent to their tortilla shop, the family found a commercial mixer, which they will use to make masa for corn tortillas and tamales. They say that mixer will be the first step toward getting back on their feet. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Mm. And Brighton Fire is telling us that the fire was probably caused by welding work being done on an SUV inside a tire shop nearby. The worker was able to get out of the building and was not injured. Mm.